My name is Scott Tubbs. I'm the Cropping Systems Agronomist with the University of Georgia located on the Tifton campus. The idea of this research project is to assess how a farmer would replant if the necessity arises from having a poor plant stand at the initiation of planting. So we have a check plot where we have a 2.4 plant per foot average uh, plant stand initiated from a May 3rd planting. And then we have half plant stands that were initiated at the same timing and we came back with a replant effect that was initiated at two weeks, two and a half weeks, and three weeks after the initial planting. We also assessed this in a late planting scenario where the initial planting was May 25th, and then we have a similar two week, two and a half week, and three week planting after the initial planting in those same populations. When initiating our replant treatment, we offset the planter approximately two to three inches to the side of the initial row so that we don't interrupt the growth of the initial plants that are growing. We're just trying to supplement that plant stand by putting additional seed next to the original plants. What that does for us scientifically as well is allows us to determine the difference in plant stand that was initially up versus the number of replant plants that have come out of the grounds. When we add a supplemental replant, it boosts the plant population compared to what it was initially. With that, it causes the plants that were initially there to grow more upright, and it is gonna cause a height differential to occur at this stage in the season before we've put on plant growth regulator to shorten those inner nodes. An additional aspect of this project uh, does take into consideration uh, economics. So when our initial plant stand uh, is completely terminated and we replant at a full seeding rate, uh, that is going to increase the cost of seed that is put out in that field. It does keep the maturity uniform, so there is a benefit and advantage to doing that, but there is the disadvantage of the cost of seed. When you go into a supplemental replant scenario by just trying to add additional seed to an already existing plant stand, you can reduce the seeding rate, which does help you economically, but it causes a difference in maturity between the initial plants and the later plants in, uh, in generating when to apply different uh, chemicals like a plant growth, growth regulator, and later in the season determining the optimum time for maturity. The current status of this project, uh, we are uh, about halfway point, halfway point in the season and um, many of the initial replants uh, will show large gaps in the plot where there's skips in stand. But where we replanted, there's areas where those replant plants come up, emerge, and fill in some of those gaps, which is going to hopefully uh, help us with gaining an overall yield that boosts compared to if that plant stand, the initial poor plant stand was left alone and carried out to full yield potential at that stage. Um, we don't anticipate that the replant plants yields will be quite as good as if the uh, initial plant stand was solid to begin with, but it should certainly supplement and benefit the farmer uh, in the replant scenario compared to if they had not gone back and done a replant situation. So the hope is the benefit of this project will uh, help the farmer to make a decision if they end up with a poor plant stand at initial planting um, as to when is the best timing to replant. And uh, eventually future aspects of this research will look at uh, different plant populations and the seeding rate that's used for different plant populations at those different timings to, in order to increase and benefit or and boost the plant stand that was initially out there. So our research programs are often funded by uh, grower supported dollars through either the Georgia Cotton Commission or Cotton Incorporated or both. Those types of projects um, are what keep our, our programs running and um, they're really the lifeblood of applied research in being able to get short term answers, very quick answers that can be applied to the farmer in a very quick uh, turnaround within uh, just a, a year or two.